Morning. And Tobago, we are here now for the TTT Morning Show now. And um, now we're going to talk about the need to, we're going to discuss, sorry, the need to make weed or marijuana legal. And this morning I have with me Mr. Negus Jack and Mr. Bongo Grease. And we're going to speak about um, this topic in regards to the legalization of marijuana. Good morning, gentlemen. Yes, good morning. Pleasant. Good morning, sir. Thanks for being on the show this morning. Pleasure is all, man. So, you know, there's, it's a hot topic. It's a big debate on the necessity, um, by, as some would consider it, to make marijuana legal. In regards to that, um, there are many things along the lines of law and imprisonment, um, things along the line of health um, and in the medical field as well, um, as, as well as it being for other, used for other things that may or may not be positive in the eye of the public. Um, what would you like to tell me in regards to your advocacy for the legalization of marijuana? Okay, well, it's been a very long time that we, the Rastafari, because to begin with, we are the organization, the All Mansions of Rastafari. So could you repeat that, sorry? All Mansions of Rastafari. All Mansions of Rastafari. Yeah. And for over a long period of time, we've been advocating for the legalization of marijuana, not just for bare common sense, but as a human right problem. Because there are many families that have been broken and we could have contribute, contributed more to society than just be classed as a criminal because of a misdemeanor. Okay. Um, so what, the, what, you're, what you're speaking on is basically the things like being charged for possession yeah. and, um, and maybe trafficking and stuff like that. Right. Um, but again, a trafficking is a... Is a much bigger law in yeah, the you know, yeah. federal level versus um, what may seem a simple possession, you know, that could give someone a criminal record. But, um, yeah, but the basis, um, as the version told you, you know, we belong to the old mansions of Rastafari. And as you know, this particular subject is a worldwide subject at this point in time. Yes, definitely. But as the, we are conducting symposium throughout the country at present right now, but here this morning, based upon the subject matter that we are about to deal with, is like, I have some things here. Like, first, we, our first is a, a change of perception and attitude towards usage and possession of cannabis by citizens. Right. Uh, we also have our another discussion on progressive change in legalization with regards to cannabis prohibition. Formalizing and regulations of a local cannabis industry to result in job creation and tax revenue to government, decreasing the negative societal impact due to current system. All right? This is what I'm saying. Providing the full knowledge benefit for cannabis medicines, sacramental and recreational purposes, right? to the diverse needs of the citizens. Subjects to be there. Okay, well, let's get right into your first subject. Yes, yeah. Right. So, the change in perception towards users of cannabis. All right, so like um, there are a number of people, you know, on both sides of the spectrum. Um, some who believe cannabis usage is a good thing, some who believe cannabis usage is a bad thing. Um, from your perception, and how would you encourage the, someone to, how, how would you help change somebody's perception of um, the use of cannabis? Well, there is a very vast majority of studies that have been done on marijuana, not even to say by us, but people who hold high position. And they show the benefits of marijuana medicinally, where there's epilepsy being cured. Yes. It's being used for people with depression, anxiety, and many numerous Ill illnesses, but yet still they get to go towards that change. You see, people are always afraid of change. And change is a scary thing for plenty, but in this day and age here now, where everybody agitating towards the legalization of marijuana because they see any benefits of it, not only medicinally, but also for the economy, where you could yeah. see like petrochin. Right. Yeah. Yeah, because um, that's a big issue now. And, you know, it's, it's been on our radar for quite a bit of time that we need to stop being so dependent upon oil mm. and probably find other industries in which they engage yes, to um, stimulate the economy. Yes, sir. So... 
um, as you were saying, like a possible avenue that trend I could, you know, probably explore or go into um, would be if marijuana were to be legalized, um, how to create an industry around it and how to monetize it yes, on, a, on a nationwide scale. Well, this, is, well, this is what we are saying. But um, as you were saying, that's not based upon the critics, right? Right. Because there would always who would be those who would be for and those who would be again. So what is needed most of all is a, a public education. Education, A vast yes. public education. And within this education, is, it will depends on who do you target for such yes. education. Yes. <laughs> because stigmatization, as uh, at present, is just merely stigmatization. Right. Because a lot of people is fear, has a fear for the unknown. <laughs> right? They never use it. Right. <laughs> it's just because of what they hear. What they heard. What uh, they heard about right. it. So they, they have that, that perception hmm? right. into them that this thing sends you mad, this thing sends you crazy. <laughs> yes. But the fact of the matter remains that cannabis sativa covers a very wide spectrum of diseases. Hmm? You know? I believe um, from what I've heard, um, you know, conversations I've had with people who are against marijuana, they generally um, associate it only with the um, hallucinogenic property of um, THC, tetrahydrocannabinol, and all, and they many times don't have any information on the well, well, medicinal properties and the CBD, um, for instance, that is also contained in it. Um, how would you go about educating the layman, the person who doesn't know about um, the positive things that, that can be achieved from the use of marijuana? Well, this is what I'm saying. This is a public education because THC is psychoactive. Right. THC is cytoactive where CBD is an isolate, yes. right? So first, they will be educated in the different uh, compounds, the compounds of the plant, the carbonanoids of the plant, the endocannabinoid systems, which, yes. are, which are actually is part of the human body yes. Yes. in terms of our receptors. So you have it like you are just putting in what is missing from your body. You okay. understand what I mean? Understood. And similarly... It's a public education because we say you must start from small and rise okay. in everything you do because our bodies are make up different. Different people take things different regardless of whatever medicine you take. It has different and reactions different upon people. Uh, uh, do you have any um, education sessions or, or, or classes or um, talks um, currently ongoing that the public can probably attend to actually get this, receive this education? On cannabis? Well, at this point in time, we are conducting symposiums throughout, throughout the country, and educating people. Do you have any um, locations, dates, anything like that um, that we could share with the viewers? So if they were to be interested well, in well, at present, attending one. We are having a rally on the 22nd and 23rd of October. 14th of October. And, 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 uh, the 22nd and 23rd of October, the university. And the 14th of October would be the big rally where we would have speakers from all over the Caribbean all right. who is versed in the subject of cannabis would be coming in. And that, where, where would that, that be? That would be on Woodford, Woodford Square. Square. Woodford Square on the, on on the, the 14th, 14th of October. October. The University of Woodford, Woodford Square, Square, gentlemen. At 8 to 10. We the, have, uni yeah. the University of Woodford, Woodford Square, Square is where you're going to be having mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. rally. Yeah, and yes. um, we, we really want to thank you. You know, I have some good news for you, which you probably know already. Um, in your journey to legalizing uh, cannabis in Trinidad and Tobago yesterday, um, in South Africa. Africa. Yes, yeah. so you know that already. Yeah. Yes. And that's uh, been a long was, journey. Yeah. And it has been a long journey, which you have been following. Yeah. Carrie, I want to thank you for taking us through that interview just now with uh, the gentleman of the 12 tribes of the Israel. All mansions of Rastafari. The all Rastafari. mansions of Rastafari. I just got it right for that other group with uh, yeah. there. And give us it again. The the all mansions of Rastafari. All mansions of Rastafari. Right. Thank you so much for but coming uh, on the in program. Con in conclusion, we'd always like to leave an account, bank account number. Mm -hmm. You know, at, at this point in time where we are preparing, we are asking all corporate citizens and donors, you know, that if they would like to ask to donate to the all mansions of Rastafari, we, we are a registered non-governmental organization and we do have a bank account at Royal Bank. The account number is one one zero 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 six zero two three nine one one seven seven. For further information, you can talk, can contact Bongo Grace at three seven two nine zero seven four or Clyde Noel at three zero six. Hmm? Thank, you right. very much, Thank you very much, gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you.